Hello everyone, my name is Brett and today I want to tell you the story of White Fang, written by Jack London. And the main characters are White Fang, Grey Beaver, Beauty, and Grim Scott. Yeah. White Fang was a little wolf in the wild. His mother was a fierce wolf who protected her cub no, cub no matter what. White Fang was half dog and half wolf. One day, they wandered through the wild and saw Grey Beaver and his friends. His mother came and sat. It turns out, White Fang's mother was once a pet of Beaver. So, White Fang became his dog as well. However, he was always bullied by Lip Lip, which was a leaner and stronger dog. He got all the dogs to attend White Fang, so, White Fang did not learn to become stronger and more cruel than all the other dogs. But one dreadful night, White Fang's mother was taken away from him. White Fang howled and howled until Beaver woke up and hit him. But one day, White Fang was sold to a mean man named Beauty. Beauty tortured White Fang to make him angry so he can use him on fighting birds. He won every battle, but however, every time he was fought to the death. So everyone called him the Fighting Wolf. Uh, one time, a slow and steady bulldog went up the stage with White Fang. They fought so hard that White Fang nearly died. But Be Beauty kept kicking him to continue fighting. Suddenly, William Scott jumped in the stage and saved White Fang. White Fang was very happy, and but still, he never felt freedom before, so he thought he would get a punishment every time he did something wrong. But he didn't, so he slowly got used to William Scott. However, one day, William Scott went to California, so White Fang had to learn his new family again. One dark night, a murderer came and tried to get revenge on William Scott's father. And to protect the family, White Fang fought with the murderer. There were many gunshots, but luckily, White Fang survived. Soon after, White Fang started to like a dog called the Coley, and they lived happily ever after. When misfortune came, White Fang would have died if he ever gave up. But every time he tried his best to fight for survival. The pain and the pain and suffering made him stronger. However, when the love and kindness came, White Fang learned to care, and this time he fought for protecting others. So even if we face desperate and hard situations, we can learn from White Fang and be stronger. My personal experience, before, when I was three years old, I got my bow stuck on the tree. I, I kept trying, even though I'm very high up. My, my bow was stuck there, but I kept trying. I climbed the tree, and I fell down many times to get the bow. But at last, I got my bow. So white thing reminded me of this story. And thank you for listening.